Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on the three inside up pattern. It's a bullish reversal pattern where number one, the market is in a downtrend. Number two, the first candle is a black candle or red uh, with a large real body. The second candle is a white candle with a small real body that opens and closes within the body of the first candle. And the third candle is another white candle or green one that closes above the close of the second candle. Now that's all in a perfect world, right? So many times you'll see that perfectly and other times you might have a wick or a shadow, a wick or a shadow out of place. You might have a medium or a smaller bodied real body. Again, we tell people over and over in our courses, don't get bogged down in the minutia. Recognize a pattern, recognize a reversal pattern, right? Or any type of pattern. And don't bog yourself down. Again, many times pennants look like triangles, flags look like wedges, cup and handles could look like, look like V bottoms, right? Or a, a double top or a triple top or a triple top bottom or a double bottom might not be completely perfect on the bottom, but that's okay. It's all about knowing how to draw support and resistance and trend lines. Uh, we teach you that in our courses and then... Uh, for those who are members, where again, we're only 10 bucks a month for our subscription. If you're a member of ours, we teach you in our private members videos how to draw trend lines and all that good stuff. So let's go take a look at some real world examples of the three inside out pattern. Right here, we're looking at Netflix, right? So you can see Netflix, you can see a larger, so large is relative, right? I mean, it's not as big as this red candle, but it's still a larger a red candle followed by a smaller green uh, real bodied candle that opened and closed with inside this real body. And then the third uh, candlestick closed above the second one. Now, very important to note here, if you've been taking our um, candlestick courses, there's a very popular two pattern uh, right here that makes up this three inside up pattern. And that is the bullish Harami. So make sure you watch our bullish Harami video. But if you look right here, uh, Harami means pregnant in Japanese. So basically picture like, again, no offense. <laughs> I'm not trying to say like a woman's large or anything, but obviously a woman with a belly, right? So picture the belly with inside the woman. Doesn't have to be up high or middle or just, again, as long as it's within the bigger body, right? So you can see the Harami uh, bullish Harami is showing, okay, red candlestick followed by a green one showing potential reversal. And then this third candlestick closing above the second one is confirmation. So this is a bullish Harami with a three inside up pattern. That's why these two and three candlestick patterns are so incredibly important. No coincidence that this is happening right around a moving average line. All right here, 50 SMA right here. So important to be aware of. That's why it's important to know the two candlesticks into the three and then zoom out and know what the heck's going on in the bigger overall pattern. And because I like to show just so many different types of patterns and real world examples, I'm going to show stuff that's off a little bit. Might not be perfect, but as you can see here, this is a three inside up pattern too. But you can see this shadow is definitely outside of this bigger real, bigger red candlestick. But as you can see, the real body opened and closed inside of this big red candlestick. So this shows bears uh, pushed it down, but the bulls came right back and saved it. So this is still basically a bullish Harami as well, even though it's not a green candlestick. And so you can see big red candlestick, smaller uh, real body opened and closed with inside this bigger body, followed by the third green candlestick closed above. No coincidence again. Look at where this is all happening, right around that 200 SMA, very important moving average lines. Reversal pattern. So the three inside up is a potential, again, I always say potential because nothing always works 100% all of the time. It's a very reliable pattern, but again, you got to look at overall, the overall trend, trend lines. And as you can see here, no coincidence, look at this. This also happened at a major trend line. So you can see this three inside up, the bulls came in, pushed it back up right at a very important trend line. So incredibly important. Uh, so again, reversal pattern, right? Let's look at some more examples. Let's take a look at GM. 
price has fallen, you can kind of see some bear flagging going on. You can see a bigger red uh, candlestick. Now you can see a dragonfly doji within this candlestick here. So it's kind of like a bullish harami, right? Or a bullish, yeah, bullish harami doji, if you want to say dragonfly doji. Again, still part of the doji family. So you can say bullish harami doji, whatever you want to call it. A small candlestick closing with inside uh, this red one. Uh, you, it looks like it could be an inverted hammer upside down. So this is also uh, an inverted hammer. So that's where, again, where I say don't get bogged down in the minutiae. You can say, is this, um, oops, don't want to do that. Is this a dragonfly doji or is that an inverted hammer? Well, does it really matter? Because it's still trying to say, okay, it's trying to stop this downtrend. Um, and you can see a reversal pattern. So you can look at this single candlestick and say, is it a dragonfly doji? Is it an inverted hammer? What's it trying to do? Look down over here. Price is starting to get oversold. It's been in a downtrend. It's moving away from the moving average lines. And then uh, you can see now you put the two candlesticks together, smaller real body. It's engulfed in this uh, bigger red body bullish harami potentially got to see for confirmation as you can see when the next candle kind of breaks above here obviously it's going up back into the moving average lines and then obviously moving average lines are resistant so it's either going to go up or it's going to fail before it goes back up right the farther price gets away from moving average lines the more it naturally wants to gravitate back to it that's why these two and three candlestick patterns are so important for potential reversals Let's take a look at AAL. Um, very similar, but a little bit of a difference, right? So you can look over here, and you can see now, if you're thinking of Harami being pregnant, the belly's up more around the chest area and not down by the belly. But doesn't matter. Don't get bogged down in the minutia. This red candle is still kind of engulfing this one right over here. And so you can see the real body is still closed with inside this bigger red body. Again, look down here, price is oversold, potential reversal coming, head up, red candlestick, green one uh, inside of the body, followed by this third one up here. What's going to happen now? Moving average lines are resistance, uh, so it gets smacked around a little bit, falls, and then it goes back up. You know, many times it'll fail, many times it'll go back up, but three inside up is a potential reversal pattern from a downtrend. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. HCP. Price has fallen down over here. You can see big red candlestick. Look at this. Oversold. Perfect looking bullish harami. Third candlestick closed above. But now again, remember, moving average lines, very important for resistance. So it's reversed over here, but now it's got these moving average lines to contend with. What did it do? It got smacked around before it fell back down. So again, reversal doesn't mean it's going to go up forever. Doesn't mean it's going to go up at all. You got to watch these candlesticks, but then you got to look at the trend overall. So you got to follow and you know draw your trend lines, and then look at these single candlesticks followed by this you know two candlesticks together and what they're telling, and then the third ones um, for showing again potential reversal. Let's look at ABIO. Look at this, really falling down, really oversold. Big red uh, Marabozu candle. Uh, Marabozu, watch our video. I don't know if I pronounce the stupid thing right. <laughs> but basically, it's a big, huge red candlestick or green showing either whether a bulls or the bears are in control. This one showing the bears are in control. Followed by this green candlestick here, bullish Harami. This third candlestick closed above. Uh, so that's a potential reversal. But hey, not so fast. It didn't. It failed. So again, doesn't mean it's going to go back up. You can see the bears came back in, pushed price back down. And let's take a look at PRAA. You can zoom in over here. Three inside up, big red candle down. It's not oversold, right? It's kind of above. It doesn't mean it's going to always be oversold. A uh, smaller green candlestick, and then kind of another smaller one, green closed above, right? There's the third one, went up a little bit more, came back down, retested support before it went back up again. So again, uh, many times it'll go back up, and then many times it'll fail, and then sometimes it just trades sideways. So 
three inside up. Remember, it's a potential reversal from a downtrend. Uh, look at the two candles uh, that it's representing, which is the bullish Harami. Uh, look at a smaller green candle inside of a bigger red one. Uh, picture pregnant, you know, that's the term for uh, uh, Harami in Japanese. Picture a belly. But again, the belly could be any part of the candle. Don't think, hey, it's not a bullish harami because it's up by the chest area or the neckline. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, look at the, the third candlestick for confirmation of the reversal. Then be very super aware of the moving average lines. Moving average lines, very important super uh, support and resistance levels. But res moving average lines don't matter unless you know candlesticks first you got to know candlesticks first then know moving average lines so you can put them together